Thanks for coming. Um, we're, we're optimistic about our season. We've got, uh, we returned six of our top eight players. Um, we went through, I think, a season of growth last year, um, faced all kinds of adversity, and, and I felt like at the time that we went through all of that with several key injuries, and I thought that at some point it's going to pay off, and, and I think it has. Um, our kids are, are tougher. Um, we're ready for about anything, I think, that, that we can face. Um, We've got great experience coming back, great leadership, and our, our incoming class is probably as, as deep and talented as a class, we've, as a class um, that we've had in a long, long time. So we're, we're pretty optimistic about how we think we can compete in the league, and um, so far our practices have been really competitive. Um, We've got some new kids that are, are showing that they can play at this level early on. Um, so I think that uh, we're, we're prepared to have a good season. Kaylee, uh, battled some injuries last year. Is she looking a little more like herself? So Kaylee looks um, better today than she ever has. Um, she's, she's gotten more explosive. Um, She's more physical, she's more athletic, uh, she's taken on a leadership role. Uh, she is right now what we thought we were getting when we, re we recruited her. Um, you know, she, she battled a concussion last year, missed nine or ten games, never really was in great shape, um, still was able to, to be an all-conference, second-team all-conference player. And, um, she, she's been great so far. How many of the freshmen are you expecting uh, are going to play this year? It's a great question. Um, right now, I think we've probably got five freshmen in our top 12. Um, and all five of those are, are good enough to play. Um, yeah, I don't know if I don't know how it's going to shake out at the end. You know, we're, we're likely to play 10 in a rotation, but that rotation is still developing. Um, but our, our freshmen are good. Did you uh, do a little of a, I know Morgan came here to play soccer, and then you kind of, she talked to her, played, want to play basketball too, and how did that kind of work out? Yeah, we're lucky. Uh, Morgan's a talent, and um, we're unsure right now of how she she fits in. She's practiced twice, <laughs> you know. So we're we're trying to get her caught up, but she's she's talented. Um, we think that she's going to help us a lot in a lot of ways. Um, right now, we're we're unsure how that's going to how that's going to work out. Um, she played point guard in high school, and, and we've got a freshman right now that's kind of leading the pack um, at our point guard position um, in Katie Summer, um, which allows us to move Holly Halstead and Chelsea Wedeking to, to a wing um, where they're probably going to be more effective. Um, and, you know, Morgan with her size and athleticism, uh, if we can. If we can play Morgan off the ball, I think that that's going to allow us to be better as well. Uh, Bobby developed into more than just a three-point shooter last year. Have you seen some more uh, growth from her too? You know, Bobby is, uh, if you look at Bobby's numbers um, from last year, I don't think it's indicative of, of what you're going to see this year. She because of who we were last year, had to do more than we wanted her to do. Um, and in our two scrimmages, I think she was nine of 11 from three-point range um, because she's able to shoot the right shots. And she's, she's been working hard on making sure she shoots the right shots, and she's, she's tremendous um, from the line. And, and we've got several kids that can 
can stretch the defense this year. Coming in, I thought that that might be a weakness, but it, as it's playing out right now, I think it's going to be, be a major strength. We've got several kids that can, can stretch the floor. Um, we're going to be really balanced with Kaylee inside and, and five or six kids that can knock down threes at a high level. So we're pretty excited about Bobby and, and the rest of them about, you know, if we can get them to play to their strengths and Bobby especially, if, if she can get her toes on the three-point line instead of knocking down 25-footers, her percentage is going to go way up. Uh, you talked about having like a 10-player rotation, uh, but is that going to vary on each night? Like how many players are you expecting to actually get minutes this season? Well, we're, we feel like we're deeper and more athletic than we've ever been, um, and we need to use our depth and we will go 10 deep at least. And, you know, in our scrimmages, it was, and it, this, it'll be this way, we're, we're looking to extend pressure, heavy pressure in the full court. Um, we're athletic, we're gonna, we're gonna try, to, try to press as much as we can to, to get into other teams' benches because I think our benches, we, we have 10 starters. Um, I mean, we've got 10 kids that are really, really close um, to each other. So, you know, I think our, there will be some fluctuation in who starts, but I'm comfortable right now rolling 10, 11, 12 kids in there. With uh, so many youngsters, you know, you said obviously start making impact in practice and should get some time for the season. How big will those seniors be early on in the year and how much of a role they played, you know, practice early on, Mary Brown, uh, Holly Halsett? You know, Holly and Mary are captains. Um, they, they led our group in the off season as well as any captains I've had. Um, and they, they have set a tone, I think, for, for everyone. Um, they've challenged some, some young play, players to step up and, and that's happened. Um, we have two other seniors that are in the mix and gonna play big roles in Chelsea Weta King and Allison Emmerich. Um, to have that experience you know, four seniors that have been through it that have, have been major minute kids um, to lead a young group, I think, is, is critical. Um, and, and they've risen to the challenge so far. And um, I think that's why, in the end, we're, we're going to be a very, very good team. How do you see the Iowa Conference going this year? I have no idea. I mean, I really don't. I think that, you know, it's, it's so early that we don't really know about newcomers in the league, but if you look at who everyone is returning, it's going to be really balanced. It's going to be a tough league, um, as always. And I think there's three or four teams that could win the thing and, and nobody can take a night off or they'll get beat. So it's, you know, I, I'm anxious to to compete in the league, and I think that we have a team that legitimately can contend.